I received my red rose in 2006 at the Rugby World Cup in Canada. In 2007 against Scotland. In 2008, Catherine Spencer was my captain. Um, I was the only person getting capped at that particular game, so it was kind of just me by myself. And I didn't actually realise that we got a red rose as, as part of being capped for England. Receiving my first red rose was pretty unique um, in the sense that there was a tornado. <laughs> so actually, my first cap got postponed by one day and my family just about got to see it and had to shoot off for the final whistle to, to catch their plane home. Um, my mum was in tears the day before, worrying that she'd missed the first time I'd put on an England shirt, but fortunately she saw the whole thing. It makes you part of the group. You know, it's something that maybe many people don't know happens, so everybody knows you'll get your shirt. But for me, your rose was just symbolises that you're, you're now in that circle, that you're going to play for your country. And it, it, it was kind of very overwhelming. I've still got my red rose and it's something that I still look at and just think, wow, like how far the game's come, how far I've come and just a really nice keepsake. I was the youngest girl on tour um, and to be surrounded by so many experienced players was just a dream come true. I never expected it to be there and yeah, it was a huge, huge honour for me. It is a physical thing, it's a living thing. It's, you know, it, the picture and the emblem is, is on your shirt, but kind of, to be handed something that, like I say, is, is living, it's, it's pretty special and it, it obviously, it means a lot and it kind of takes you back through the, the heritage of, of the, the England game and, and specifically the women's game with, with being handed a red rose. It's, it's the buzz you feel when you have, have your first cap in your hand after playing your first game for England. You get shivers and you know that all the hard work's been worthwhile.